what do you find are the key differences in your tuning approach between a standalone and a factory engine control module? Well, what's kind of funny is, is as a person that has tuned factory control modules for the majority of their tuning career, I almost struggle with standalones because I can tell it the truth, you know, being able to actually input in the correct injector data and being able to actually have boost control and, you know, seeing ignition timing maps based off of manifold air pressure that's above, you know, 100 kPa. It just, it's, I love it, but it's, it, it actually took me a while to wrap my head around. As somebody that deals with factory ECU, you've got a really, really good calibration to start with. So a lot of your, you know, startup and things like that, it's GM or whatever the manufacturer is, it kind of already worked that out. Whereas with the standalone stuff, I mean, you're kind of on your own with those. You've got to have either a base calibration or just have a really good general idea of how an engine works to be able to get, you know, get a standalone to start up. 